it all went wrong before the tour really started for UAE. Here is my team review from UAE Team Aeromerics. And as I mentioned in my intro, kind of all started on the back foot for UAE. Lost Trenton to COVID uh, or a positive test um, just before the race kicked off. And his replacement, Mark Hershey, wasn't in the form going into the tour <coughs> and then picked up an injury during the tour. So we never saw him. We never saw what he's fully capable of particularly in the mountains as a domestique for, for Gatcha. Uh, then during the race itself, Starker Langen got COVID. Bennett got ill. I don't know whether that was COVID, I can't remember. Mark Soler was throwing up. <coughs> and Rafa Mika knackered his knee or quad up on the stage to foie. So, all in all, despite all that, UAE actually had a pretty decent race. Three stage wins, time in yellow, white jersey, and <clears throat> on, the, on stage 17, they had one of the best team assaults for a team of four, three and a half riders I've ever seen. Um, I think there are a lot of mitigating circumstances into Pogaccia, and I'll get onto Pogaccia separately in a minute, but <clears throat> that stage 17 was incredible. Mikkel Bjerg rode out of his skin on a climb and Brandon McNulty dropped everyone except for Jonas Vingor and Tele Pogaccia. In fact, he was possibly riding a little bit too hard for Pogaccia on that stage. So, chapeau to UAE for what they did in the race, despite all their I wanted to talk to you separately about Teddy Pogaccia. Um Coming into the race, he was the only overwhelming favourite, and <clears throat> you'd say for the first 10 days, it looked as though normal service would resume. He took two fantastic stage wins on, in Longvi and Le Super Plonge. But I think there were a combination of mitigating circumstances tactical errors and ultimately him just not being the best rider of the race this year. Um, the mitigating circumstances are that he got away with having a really long spring program from UAE to Liège last year. This year he didn't. He raced solidly from UAE up until Fletch Wallone. And yes, he was competitive. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> but that, I think, is caught up with him this year. And it, that sort of thing catches you up when you've got another strong team, a strong rider with you in the race. He obviously missed the edge last year. And I think losing his mother-in-law to be hit him harder than we all thought it would. I mean, death is something that you don't know how hard it's going to hit you until you have it in your life. So I think those two mitigating circumstances definitely have led to part of the reason why Tadej Pogaccia hasn't been on top form at this tour. The next ones I'm going to talk about are tactical mistakes that Tadej Pogaccia made himself. Yes, he didn't have the team or the strength of team, like Jumbo Visma, but I I think he doesn't trust his team. And uh, you saw on the say on the assault on the Granon that when Roglic attacked, despite him being three minutes down on GC, and we could have probably have seen the writing on the wall for him to lose big time on that stage anyway. He didn't use Rafa Maika, Mark Soler, McNulty, or whoever was in that group behind <coughs> to chase Roglic down 
and keep his powder dry. He instead jumped and followed them. And what then led to the period where he didn't eat, in terms of when Vingago and Rogic was flying off attacks, um, I think, I don't know why he, well, I do know why it's Primoz Roglic, but he could have let Soler, Micah, chase down Roglic without too much trouble, <clears throat> I think, and without meaning that he's going to lose time in the stage. Um, what he then did, what I think was a big tactical mistake on the Col de Galibier, was with about 5k of the climb left, Roglic blew up. And Pogaccia hit the front, and he hit the front hard to drop Roglic. What that did, yeah, it dropped Roglic. Yes, it dropped Thomas. Yes, Bardet. But it meant Vingegaard had an easier ride behind him. Ride to drop Roglic, I can understand why you would do that to a degree. But you've got the Granon to come, and he'll lose time on the Granon. So tem temper your efforts on the Galibier. Trust your team. And then it may not have been three minutes he lost on the final 5k of the Granon. 